You know, in, in summing up, I'm going to talk a little bit about something in the future, because we've talked about this thing called WebAssembly. Mm. And we're both pretty positive around where WebAssembly is going. Uh, so how do you think WebAssembly is going to change our application world in the future? Ooh. I know that's another 30 <laughs> yeah. minute question. This is, uh, this is a good one. I, I'm very bullish on WebAssembly. I, so WebAssembly provides a lot of uh, foundation mm -hmm. for applications to not have to rewrite everything anytime there's a new environment it needs to run in, right? right. We kind of had this already um, with like containerization, but that's it's somewhat, it's somewhat. It's somewhat there, but it's not fully there, right? right? WebAssembly enables you to write an application and have that binary run across the board, right? Right, And it's not rewriting it. I can take the same binary I wrote that runs in my computer to run in the browser. And right. I think that is amazing, right? Yeah. We are still kind of in the infancy though, but WebAssembly is growing. And every day, new functionality is coming out and making life simpler for developers. Yeah, yeah you, you, you mentioned it. It's, it's amazing what you can do with, with WebAssembly or WASM um, in the browser. But I'm actually also excited for this thing called WASI, which mm. is the system interface, where that same promise, promise that we've had with other languages that are virtualized languages and running environments, now taking existing code, taking multiple languages, and producing something that you just run without performance penalty. That's the other magic sauce that WASM has. Yes. So. Yeah. So, any, any closing comments that you'd like to make about where the world is going? Oh, <laughs> where the world is going. This is a big question. Uh, <laughs> Always ask it either the really hard question, which yeah. this one is, or the easy question is, you know, what's your favorite number? <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, favorite number is 42, okay. like many people. What if right? you get six times nine? What if I get what? <laughs> the question, the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything yes. is, what do you get if you multiply six times nine? Oh. <laughs> okay, which is correct. <laughs> yes. Base 13. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's great. So, ah. so, so any, anything that's on top of your mind that we should be watching for? No, I think for me, it's, I think WebAssembly, you know, we touched on it, right? Yep. It's still early, but there's so many new things coming yep. out every day. Well, it's, I'm very bullish on where it's going to be in the next five, 10 years. Yep. I think the other thing is, you know, the trends in the industry is, you know, we started off with easy, right? Yeah. Like, so like when we, when we started off with uh, applications, it was like a three tier, right? Like yep. you had a front end, you had a back end, you had a database, and that's just how things were. Then it got more complex, and then you added microservices to it. And when you did that, then we needed a way to manage those microservices. Hey, don't forget ephemeral, elastic and ephemeral oh, nature. Yes. Yes, it has to scale, right? And, and so I feel like, you know, we've, we've hit this threshold, right? Like yep. we've enabled a lot of different use cases. I'm not saying we tackled all of them, but we've enabled a lot of them. But what, where, I, where we need the industry to go is that we need to make this easier still, right? And while Kubernetes provides a lot of knobs, yeah. it's, we need to make that, that journey simpler for, for other companies to go through. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you know, production quality, scaling, security, um, yes. and, you know, and hardening. Sort of my top three when I look at somebody saying, oh, "I want to move this into a real work." Yes. For that, and I think right now, um, most of the world would agree that security is top of mind for for those three. So, yes. So yes. cool. So this has been great. We we should do this more often. So. Hands down, in time, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.